Hello there, hope you're doing well. My name is Jen and welcome to this channel. So for the past one and a half months, I have been looking for a Nintendo Switch. As you've probably heard, they're sold out everywhere. They're sold out all the shops near me and they're also sold out online. And they're supposed to be restocked, I think, mid to late April. And so far, it hasn't happened. Animal Crossing also came out recently and that's when I started looking for a Switch. But I unfortunately could not play it because I couldn't find one. And also the Animal Crossing games were sold out. And because I didn't want to have to wait till next week or the week after, I decided to embark on a quest of looking for a switch on the sketchy part of the internet. And now I don't mean eBay or Gumtree or Craigslist. I mean Facebook Marketplace. And that's what my life has resorted to. So the first version of the Switch came out in 2017 and the box looks like this. And then the second version came out last year, so the 2019 version, and that box looks like this. The 2019 version has a longer battery life, but I think everything else is pretty much the same. So on Facebook Marketplace, I was primarily looking for a Generation 2 Switch. And when I went on there, I was quite surprised. Okay, so in Australia, a Switch costs $470 about, and Facebook Marketplace primarily has second-hand things. So people were selling a used Switch for, I think, $600 plus. I know it's rare because they're out of stock everywhere, but still, that's a lot of money. And I even saw some people selling them for over $1,000. Like seriously. And they weren't even selling the second version for a thousand dollars, they're selling the first version. Who is going to pay a thousand dollars for the worst version of something when they can pay six hundred dollars for the newer one? I did find a good offer. So someone was selling their three week old switch for five hundred and fifty dollars. Now you're probably thinking that is quite expensive because it's eighty dollars more than the original switch price. But considering the fact that it was readily available, it was only three weeks old, and I wouldn't have to wait another two or three weeks until the uh, proper switches came up I settled and messaged the seller and they lived close to me as well so I drove 20 minutes to their house and I picked up a switch I am so happy seriously because if I didn't buy this I would still be waiting now for the ones to restock in the game shop so today I'm going to open this together although I have already opened it so I could charge the switch because it was dead when I got it and I'm just letting you know it does work perfectly so this is the second version you can tell it's the second version because the box is red and I'm so glad they still have the box because some people that were selling it were selling it without a box but anyways let us open this together so the only complaint I have with this is that the guy removed the cardboard that holds everything in place from within the box, but everything is still in it. So we have the dock, the charger. This charger plugs both into the switch and into the dock. Then we have a HDMI cable. Then we have the straps for the Joy-Cons. Uh, then there's also this controller for the Joy-Con. I have tested this out, but I find it extremely uncomfortable because the Joy-Cons are lined up parallel. And on the older console remotes, the buttons were diagonal, which was easier to use. The health and safety thing is still in there. Well, honestly, I don't think anyone reads it anyway. And last but not least, we have the switch itself i don't know if it originally came in this plastic or if he just put it in but it's in extremely good condition so there we have it working and this is the backyard if you do not yet own a switch let me just point something out for you while i was doing some research on it so down here it says the model number you see it says HAC and a bunch of numbers. Now, the version 2 switch has HAC, some numbers in the middle and some numbers at the end. The version 1 switch on the other hand has HAC and just a 001, it doesn't have the numbers in the middle. Be extremely careful when you're buying something secondhand because some people might have the version 1 switch and be trying to pass it off as a version 2 to get more money from it. So just be wary of that. As so we've got the switch here, the Joy-Cons come off. And I have actually charged this up to 100%. When I turned around initially, I saw that the guy was still logged in. And when you're selling something, I recommend logging out and wiping the memory and restoring everything to factory settings. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you turn on a brand new Nintendo Switch. I did charge it as soon as I got it and it works perfectly. But I just need to reset the device to factory settings because the guy is still logged into his Nintendo account. You sure you want to continue? Yes. Let's turn it back on now and it will act as a switch that's never been touched before. Oh, that's so cool.
So, so happy that I managed to get one. I'm still really surprised that they sold out so fast. But I can at last play Animal Crossing. I will be streaming Animal Crossing on Twitch. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. But anyways, I'm so happy and excited. And I would like to thank you very much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. But until then, ciao meows. Hello, glorious Switch.